went into the shop and we were trying things on. But then when we went into change rooms we realised we didn't have enough money to buy the stuff that we wanted so we put it in as bags. After like we got just a little bit out of the shop, one of the shop people came out and told us to come back into the store and empty his bags and she rang the police. When I walked up in a police cell, it didn't feel, didn't feel real place. or anything. It just felt like a bad dream and I'd wake up sooner or later and it'd just all be gone. But it never did go. I just kept like thinking, oh God, what am I going to do and what are my family going to say and stuff because I knew that they'd be probably ashamed and disappointed of me. We had to go in a cell and like I was just worried about what my mum was going to say. When they took my belongings, I just thought, well, that's my things and I didn't really want them touching it, but like, there was nothing I could do about it. I couldn't hide anything from her, like, I, I wasn't really, I didn't have a personality because everything that represented me got took away from me. Right, I'm going to take your fingerprints and your photograph off, yeah? When they were taking my fingerprints, it's like, now I'm in their system and I can't do anything about it, I can't get away from them anymore. When you see it on telly, you just think, oh, well, that's what happens, isn't it? But then when it actually happens to you, you just feel like, this is real life. After everything happened, when we went back to school, word got around quite fast and some of the kids at school started saying things about us, like calling us convict and things like that. They kept doing like, little digs and taking the mickey out of us and it sort of made us feel really small. When people actually like started asking questions and started realising what had actually happened, then some of the girls and boys that were stealing also stopped because they realised how bad it was. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my dad wasn't really too bothered in it. He like, punished me and knew that I did wrong and he knew that I was sorry and then I left it at that and said we didn't have to talk about it again because I knew that it hurt him to talk about that I'd done something so wrong as that. And with my mum, she didn't trust me as much and I've got to earn that risk to trust and respect back. Despite everything, I feel like I've grown stronger and now I'm in a better place.